All right, here I'm going to show you why a Corbel Forza wide seat does not fit in a first gen RX-7 with the Corbel rails. So if we go over here, you can see the door pretty much hit it when you open it. And then when it's sitting in its spot where the rails go, uh, it actually makes contact. Here it's I've got it set just a little bit back here. When you put it in there with the rail, it actually hits that e-brake over there really, really hard. So I'll show you if I pull it up to where the rail goes, which is sorry about the camera jerk. Right there. It's literally nailing the e-brake and the dash there, uh, that the shifter surround. Back here the clearance is just fine. It's just up in here. It smokes this stuff right there. So you can't make it fit. I've tried. You can't like uh, cheat and try to put bolts out here and then uh, try to like rock it back to lean back into the car or nothing. I tried that. So just so you know, Corbo Forza wide there does not fit in the first gen. I'll show you if I shut the door. Kind of almost clears here. I think it wouldn't actually be too terrible if it wasn't for that stupid spot right there. Also, I don't think you could put it on the passenger side because I think it would make contact the same way by that shifter surround on the other side. So, Corbel Forza Wide is a no-go. I'm going to get some different seats for this car here eventually. Uh, first, got to get it driving now that it runs. So that is the explanation as to why a Corvo Forza wide does not fit in a first gen RX-7. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. This is Austin at Dream and Rotary. Keep on rotating fellas.